What is Simply Stitch 2? Well, Simply Stitch 1 came about because I get a lot of questions off people asking me about the basics of hand embroidery, how to make those first stitches that you put in your cloth, how you prepare your cloth, and then what my thought processes are as I'm working and how I decide to maybe use a particular stitch or what makes me want to use silk so much, why do I work in white so much? All these questions um, needed answering and I thought the best way to do that because I've been asked was to provide um, a programme, it's not a class, I don't call it a class because I don't have any tasks that I give you. This isn't about me saying today you've got to make this and I want to see it by, by tomorrow or the day after. It's purely a fly on the wall. It's me filming my process and demonstrating my stitches as I make them, as I create them. Talking about where I see it going, how it's going to evolve as a piece of work and what's going to happen. And in Simply Stitch 1, the first piece I did was this one. This is a piece of white silk with very basic hand stitches on here. And this was the, the first piece of work I did in Simply Stitch 1. And it grew and it evolved until... So now what this is going to be is a big cloth, um, like a wrapping cloth, like a throw, um, a lap quilt perhaps without the quilting, just with the backing, um, that will be formed from pieces of silk that I've sampled various stitches on. So it's as simple as that. So that was the first one. And then this was the second one, and you'll notice as I go through these how they've all evolved and changed and developed. And throughout the course of Simply Stitch 1, I've been explaining my motivation and why I'm changing. They were basic hand stitches. This is basic patching technique um, with basic hand stitch added to the surface to develop the surface to move on from the first two and take that a little bit further. And then I did basic applique and again mixed it up a little bit with basic hand stitch, again moving it on. And all these pieces are cohesive. They all sit together beautifully and will eventually be joined to create a, a one large cloth that will be formed by this process and throughout this process. Um, and the process of that and my thoughts behind that and the way I work um, will all be shown, has all been shown throughout the creation of these pieces of cloth um, to the group that is Simply Stitch One. So Simply Stitch 2 is again going to start off, this has developed further now into this. So these pieces are getting more and more complicated with each surface having more and more embellishment on them. But everything's cohesive in terms of the fabric and the colours and the stitches. It's just using them in different ways, developing them, pushing them. Um, so this started in Simply Stitch 1 and it's ongoing. I don't know if I'll finish it in Simply Stitch 1. Um, but it will be a big cloth, a sampler cloth. And then it was about needing something else for this surface. You'll notice that I've used printed cloth in here that I bought, okay. But I also wanted more of me in this, more of, you know, things I've created. I wanted it to be more about me than shop bought. So I created my own fabric. We've done that in Simply Stitch 1. So Simply Stitch 2 will start in exactly the same way. I will start with a plain piece of cloth, basic hand stitches and develop that cloth but using perhaps the same techniques as Simply Stitch 1 but also other techniques such as um, layering, pleating, folding. I have some samples here, um, this is a very small sample, it's very old, it's an embellished piece of cloth that's been embellished and then pleated to form a skirt or a trim. I will be doing that. I will be using my pleating machine to create densely pleated areas. I don't have any of those. I did have a cloth that was made in completely that way, but I sold it so I don't have it anymore. Um, lace, working with lace, but then creating surfaces that complement the lace that you can add onto other pieces of cloth to develop your work and take, take your work further and make it more original, more about you. Um, so yeah, and then this is a pocket that I made for myself. You've probably seen this on my blog. I may make a massive, massive pocket, almost like a sleeping bag, but I will not make those decisions now. 
I will let this tell me what it's going to be as it evolves from the very, very start of Simply Stitch 2. I, like I said, I'll start with my plain cloth, I'll do hand embroidery stitches on it, I'll manipulate cloth with pleating and folding, um, and then I'll see how those are best going to fit together and possibly end up with a huge pocket like a sleeping bag. But as I say, that's in my head now, but it could change. The girls in Simply Stitch 1 will tell you that I changed my mind a lot. Now the beauty of this programme, this eight weeks, is that you're not compelled to do anything. If you literally just want to sit and watch the videos, take in what I'm doing and get something from that, that's fine. If you look at the Flickr group for Simply Stitch 1, a lot of people are working on their own things and just taking little snippets from what I'm doing and adding it to their own work. I want you to get out of this what you want. I don't have any expectation for what people should get out of this process. I just want to provide a fly on the wall, almost like a diary of my creative process for people to observe and hopefully take something positive from. And if they take it further and put it in their own work, that to me is a bonus. Okay, I just want the world to be embroidery. That would be ha that would be a happy world, wouldn't it, if everybody was embroidering? So that's the purpose of Simply Stitch Two. Similar in many ways to Simply Stitch One, but any creative person will tell you you will know yourself that over the course of six months, a year, you may be working in the same techniques with the same stitches with the same fabrics but your end outcomes will be different. So I'm not going to be making in six months another sampler cloth. You know, it's not going to happen because everybody's work evolves and they all have different final outcomes, okay? So that is what Simply Stitch 2 is about. It's just a continuation of my creative process over the course of those eight weeks. I mean, um, the eight weeks before Simply Stitch 1, I was making something completely different. We're always evolving, aren't we, and making different things. So that's what Simply Stitch 2 is all about.